G'day my friends, Marty Wee from martysgarden.com.au. Now you may be wondering why I have these glasses on. Well, I need to read something out from a company called Nordermark. You see, they sent me some trays for growing microgreens. Now these are soilless microgreens, and I'm actually a soil biology organic, you know, get all that funky stuff going and growing, but I thought I'd better give these a try. Firstly, what I want to do is read out this letter, because I quite like this company, they're pretty cool, and we've been talking backwards and forwards. Thank you so much for reviewing this product from Nordemark in Sweden, Ooh, a long way from here. <laughs> we are a small company growing microgreens indoors. We developed this product because we had a lot of problems in our former production of microgreens using the standard method of soil and trays. We also saw a lot of farmers and urban farmers staying to grow with microgreens and face the same problems. Many growers also starting at a small scale. So they're saying that, you know, like they can solve this problem. And business is all about solving problems. So I quite like that. So anyway, after about a year in development and testing, we got to a functioning base. The goal of the product and the system was to start a very small scale at home. The product we would like you to review or test is the level. More units can be added to increase production and then later add the watering system. We will send you a PDF with more info on this system. The system is easy to use, flexible and scalable. In the near future, you will be able to grow lettuce, herbs and many other products using the same system. From Michael Scarrett and Henrik Carlson. Well, thanks guys. I really do appreciate you sending it through. As I said, it is very different to how I grow microgreens. So I'm going to give what I believe to be an honest, fair income Aussie review about the good, the bad, the ugly, the benefits, all that type of cool stuff. But anyway, I've just put some seeds down and we're going to head over there now and show you what's going on and how it's starting. And then I'll review it and we'll just do the video. Let's go. Marty's garden is all about compost worms, composting, farming worms indoors and out, and growing some of the most awesome food around. You can learn how by clicking the subscribe button and hitting the bell so you don't miss any of my videos. Welcome world to the Marty's Garden Show. So this is the tray, well actually two trays here, that they sent me that I'm growing these microgreens in. They're basically designed for hydroponic small space farmers, right? They, they want to sell this as a product to uh, as single units to people that want to grow at home, but I don't know if that's such a good idea yet yeah, anyway. So what we've got in here about two days ago, 24 hours ago, we planted some rocket arugula seeds. Then underneath, we've got some purple sango radish. And as you can see, they're coming up and they're looking quite good. And really, all I've been doing is I wet it down and then a bit of this liquid from the worm farm just diluted down to like a weak tea. I'm spraying on that now because we won't be harvesting for quite a while. So this will give it a bit of food because basically this stuff, which is hemp fiber is designed to soak up nutrients from hydroponics, right? This is a hydroponic system, but me being a soil guy, I love the biology and everything involved around that. And I just prefer to grow in soil myself. You can see the roots here, look how healthy and white they are. And Karen asked me a question recently about how do we know if they're, why they're white, they're healthy. I think that was the question. Well, basically they start going brown, sort of blacky means that you could have like fungal problems and things. So a nice healthy root on any plant will always be white and have that glowing look to it. And you can see that the roots are actually much larger than the plants. A regular rocket gets quite a big root system and it does need to grow, from my experience, in a deep tray. So it'll be interesting to see how well this goes. We're just using the worm tea as a nutrient. Now I've got something really exciting to show you underneath as well. I'm going to lift this off. I'll move this over to here and lift this off. Now I'm finding that the mat, the hemp mat, holds a lot of moisture and this feels quite heavy. 
I've been wetting it down. Now, if you were to put this in full sun, I would say it would dry out pretty quick. That could be a problem. And what I'm discovering from having a recent look is the roots have still haven't turned up and turned over properly enough to actually get down into the system. And so we don't have a big root system poking through yet. We've got some here, like the uh, rocket has. And when you turn it over like that, they're falling and spilling. So I would leave it about three days in optimum to actually before pulling it off. And if current just sort of runs along, you can have a bit of a look at what I'm talking about here. The roots need to turn up and turn down and get into the mat. And if they haven't turned over yet, then they haven't actually started soaking up any of the nutrient. They're just surviving on the fats that are in the seed. So it's a good quality seed, and there's lots of good fats inside that seed. They're going to do really well. Now, these guys from Nordermark, I think it's Nordermark, I better get that right, that name. They sent me this seed, and this seed here from the rocket is my own seed, which I know is quite good quality. And this looks like it's quite good as well. I'm going to cover this over because I want it to be nice and dark so the roots will turn up and go down, and it will do quite well. Now, as far as farming goes, you can actually lock these on top of each other, and they will grow like this, so you can do stacks. And that's a really good way to scale and start. Now, if you don't have too much humidity, humidity, I'm sorry, <laughs> got to get that word right, humidity, then you shouldn't get any fungal problems. It's the first time I've ever used this, and I've never grown in this type of mat either. Now, this is the hemp fiber mat, and I haven't even checked out the prices of what it sells for here in Australia. And I'd say that we'd have to buy it in rolls and different things. So I don't know if it's for the home gardener, if it's going to be a cheap option. I think the compost, your home compost, you just can't beat it because you're making your own compost at home and it becomes 100% free and you know what's in your compost. Now, what I'm going to have to do is pour this into here and try and keep this wet or keep spraying it down. And when I grow in my trays, I actually have two trays, a bottom tray and a top tray, and I can lift it up and pour the water in underneath. So I see that as being a bit of an issue for home gardeners as well. They've got the caps on the end, but unfortunately, this little cap um, was, I think, was broken during transit. And so the water might pour out. So, so far, I think it's going to work quite well. And I think it could be very good for urban farmers. But what we're going to do is we're going to come back in a few days and we're going to have a look at this a bit more and see how it's going. And I'll give you a fill in and run you down my thoughts about this type of tray and whether it's good for you at home or possibly as an urban farmer. So I just want to say that I'm not doing this to trial hydroponics versus soil compost. So it's not hydro versus organic, anything like that. What I'm doing is I'm trialing this system to see if I can grow it quite well in a worm tea, an organic worm tea. And if that's the case, there just may be an opportunity for people to try this and grow food organically that they can scale up because these type of systems do work very well in small spaces. Now, you would have to grow it under lights. I don't think it would grow so well under sun. I think they would just dry out in my Australian climate. But you need to keep watching the videos that are coming out to see how I go because I'm going to do updates on this system as time goes by. Anyway, if you're enjoying these videos, make sure you subscribe before you go. And I'll see you at the next video real soon. Oh, yeah, click that like button too because... That's how I get the support. And then Google and YouTube go, Woo! Love you, Marty. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Happy gardening. And we'll see you in the next video real soon. Bye for now. Oh, look, Karen. Skippy the Roo's back. Is that the same kangaroo, Dad? Yeah, pretty sure. He comes and eats around the compost grass in the evening. I hope he comes back soon. Well, I reckon he will. <laughs>